Hi everybody, let's look at uh, some properties of equality. Now properties of equality is just a fancy way to talk about the equal sign. Now the equal sign can be your best friend if you know how to work with it. I like to think of the equal sign as nothing more than uh, a big scale. You've got uh, you have the potential to put things on both sides. Now if you want to keep things balanced and equal you have to put exactly the same thing on each side. So uh, let's say I, I have this this uh, black arrow over here, this black amount. I need to put that same amount over on the left side. Let's say I put in uh, let's say I put in two blue arrows. I have to put exactly two blue arrows on this side. Now, can I just pause for one moment and just point out how darn impressive my drawing abilities are? My goodness, I am. Amazing. Okay. Well, um, let's let's go ahead and as as sad as it is, let's um let's take out my scale here and my my beautiful arrows and let's picture the properties of equality as uh, let's say money. Let's say uh, I had one dollar here. Now, whenever you have something equal something else, it doesn't necessarily have to look the same. Let's say on the right side here we had four. Quarters. Each of these are 25 cents. Now, let's say I added a nickel on this side. If I want to keep things equal, I have to add a nickel on this side. If I add, let's say, a penny on this side, I can't add a, a nickel over here because that won't be equal. So, uh, of course, I have to add a penny on this side. Uh, let's say I subtract, let's say I get rid of a dollar on this side. Well, I have to take out the same amount on the other side because I want everything to remain equal. So, uh, in, in essence, the properties of equality is just saying do the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. We are going to take a look at five different uh, properties of equality starting with the property of addition. Here we have 3 plus 5 equals 8. Um, let's say I added 2 to the left side and I added 2 to the right side. Now I have 3 plus 5 plus 2, which is 10, equals 8 plus 2, which is 10. Uh, because we added the same thing to each side, we're still equal. That's the property of addition. Next, we've got the subtraction property of equality. Here we have 8 times 1 equals 2 times 4, which is true. All right, let's go ahead and subtract 1 from the left side and subtract 1 from the right side. Now we have 8 times 1, which is 8 minus 1, is 7. And on the right side here, we have 2 times 4, which is 8, minus 1, is also 7. And notice, we are still equal. So whenever we subtract something from uh, both sides of the equal sign, that is using the subtraction property of equality. Let's move on to the multiplication property of equality. Now you might be catching on, but this is going to deal with multiplication. Here we have 3 equals 3. Well, that's pretty straightforward. That's true. Let's go ahead and multiply each side by 2. So I multiply the left side by 2. I multiply the right side by 2. That's going to give me 6 on the left and 6 on the right, which these are still equal. Uh, that would be an example of the multiplication property of equality. We are almost there, just a couple more. Here we have the division property of equality here. We have 2 plus 2 equals 4, which we know is true. Let's say we divided each side by 4. Let's divide the left by 4, divide the right by 4. Now if I uh, simplify these parentheses, that's going to give me 4 over 4 which is going to equal 4 over 4. That would simplify to 1 equals 1, which is true. And we see how when we divide each side by the same amount, uh, we're still going to be equal. Last but not least, we have the distributive property of equality. Now, uh, let's take a look at this example here. We have 2 times parentheses, 3 plus 5 is equal to 16. Now, if we simplified this without distributing, we do these parentheses first, which would give us 8, and we'd still have this times 2 equal to 16, which would be true. 
Now think back to what distribution means. When we distribute this to, when we have something multiplied by a group, multiplied to a parenthesis, we can multiply the outside number to each of the inside numbers. So this would give us 2 times 3, which equals 6, plus 2 times 5, which would equal 10. And if we simplified that, we'd get 16 equals 16, which is also true. So uh, whenever we have an equal sign, we are allowed to distribute either side and maintain our equality.